The third new facility made its competitive debut today. It's the major Taylor Velodrome and is equal to or finer than any other track in the USA. Tucked away in the Lake Sullivan area, the attractive entrance was used for the first time by an enthusiastic crowd. Advanced ticket sales for the first session amounted to only 400, but then 1,800 paid their way inside. Built at a cost of six million, it's the latest word in track design and spectator viewing. The competitors match the facility in quality. We watched a few practice laps and then asked our Channel 6 expert Doug Winton to point out a couple of differences uh, between difference a track bike and a road bike. Here. The pedals have toe clips on them, the rider sticks his foot into it, cinches the strap and a cleat on the bottom of the shoe grips the back plate of the pedal. It keeps the rider from having his foot pull out in an all-out sprint. Um, the, the actual tires themselves are very narrow. They're uh, made out of cotton normally, sometimes silk. They take pressures from 120 to 140 pounds and can run anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars for each tire. Um, the hubs are all large flange hubs on very narrow rims. The tires are glued onto the rims. That's quite a difference from your, your balloon tire bikes of the 50s. Thanks, Doug. One more note, the cost. A good racing bike costs between $1,000 and $2,500. But then, of course, no energy costs from then on.